Hello everybody from Florida. I'm Zach Hample and this is Tropicana Field and this is my second time visiting this season. I was here in April to see Mike Trout and now I'm back because there are City Connect commemorative baseballs in use, but not today. That'll be tomorrow, so get ready for multiple Rays videos coming your way. And I'm at 98 lifetime game home runs, so I'll be in the outfield during the game trying to catch 99, but first, let's get inside for batting practice and we'll catch as many baseballs as possible. On the board, that is how I like to enter a stadium. Yogi! I'm everywhere, baby, everywhere. <laughs> My last two games were in Toronto and I saw the Orioles there and they put on a show both days in BP. But today here at the Trop, I don't know what's going on, but they really have not done a whole lot. Their lefty batters have hit a couple of very long home runs that I thought were ticketed for the walkway behind the seats, but both of those balls hit the catwalks and other obstacles way up high in the air and didn't even reach me. So I got that one baseball early on and nothing in the second group of Orioles BP. The third group is just starting probably their last group. And as always, I'm counting the lefties and righties. I might make a move in a sec, but the numbers are not where I was hoping they would be at this point. To be fair, batting practice today was rather lively, but unfortunately, very little of that action directly benefited me. But Coach Anthony Sanders, he's the man. He loves hitting fungos to me, and he delivered today. He hit it a bit too far, and it ricocheted off that back wall right to me in deep right field, so that was pretty fun. And batting practice ended soon after that, but I did not stick around in right field. I hustled over to left center because I had seen a baseball drop into the gap at one point during BP. And sure enough, it was down there and I brought my trusty device, the cup trick. And I lowered that thing a very narrow fit, but it's almost like it was meant to be. So that one took a moment because it's quite a ways down there, but I got the ball to go in the cup and I lifted it slowly, slowly, carefully. You don't want the ball to accidentally fall out. And once I reeled that thing all the way back up, I had this to say to the camera. A little fishing trip in Florida. And so I am still in left center field right now, but just for a moment, I gotta go and stuff my face in the race club because my friend Mike is hooking it up again with the access. So I just wanna say quickly, you can see that weird ass little area in the background. People love to hate on the trot because they'll say it's, well, you know what they say, but personally, I like it because it's weird. There's nooks and crannies all over this place where baseballs can hide, and I took advantage today. And of course, I'm gonna take advantage of the free food. Thank you. Yeah. All right, guys. And now we eat, but first, come over here. Show your What's face. Going? What's up, This everybody? is the man behind the Insta account, Bartolo's Meme, or Bar Bartolo's Meme. Bartolo's yeah. Meme, so you can see it up on the screen. My boy, Ari. So good to see you. Thank you. 
give him a follow. Appreciate it. Your Insta account, the initial one, got deleted. Yeah. So we're building him back up. Bartolo's yeah. memes. And, and today is actually the six year anniversary of the original page. Oh. So very happy, six years of success. Give it a follow. There it is. Now we eat. Oh, man. Oh. Good to see you, boy. You guys recognize this man. Jump on in here. Come on, Reese. You recognize both of them, hopefully. All right, and as my dad would say, cut the shit and let's eat. <laughs> Here you go. Have a great time, everyone. Thank you. There is no place to sit. This ought to hold me. Let's go. Don't just film me eating. We got a ball game here. had lots of action in this game and it's only the bottom of the second the Orioles won an instant replay review Anthony Santander homered for them Jose Siri went yard for the Rays to left center so two to one right now bottom of the second and I'm doing pretty well here with the dessert you guys I have shared some with my videographer but you know I'm definitely slowing down I'll see if I can finish this and then probably make a move Castle hit two home runs when I was in Toronto and he just went yard again barely 333 feet just inside the right field foul pole and that ball seemed to disappear into no man's land and you know I'm not all that familiar with the configuration in that spot so I went over there to take a look and I gotta say that it is pretty cool I guess that space could be considered a pantry there's all kinds of clutter and boxes and there's even a pinata sitting there. So that would have been a cool spot to use my cup trick for a game home run. 
but that ball was nowhere in sight. And that homer was a two-run shot, so that put the Orioles up four to two. The Rays just scored in the bottom of the sixth. And right now, top seven, the O's are hanging on to a four to three lead. And I've just been lurking up here in the walkway, hoping for a bomb. The seat's down in right field. I'll just show you again from up here. It's crowded. It's crowded. And I mean, good for the Rays, but bad for me, hoping to have some space to chase a home run, you know? There was lots of hype in this place when the bottom of the ninth rolled around, so, you know, I gotta give credit to the fans for being optimistic, but the Orioles had a three-run lead at that point, and their closer, Craig Kimbrell, was dealing. He entered this game with 430 career saves, and it did not take him long to pick up another one. He shut down the Rays in order, including a towering pop-up off the bat of Yandy Diaz into foul territory for the final out. And you know what? The Orioles really needed this game after dropping the last two in Toronto. Anyway, the O's hit three long balls tonight, the final one coming off the bat of Jordan Westberg. And starting pitcher Cole Irvin picked up the win. He gave up two earned runs in five and two-thirds innings. And so the final score tonight here at the Trop, Orioles six, Rays three. And as for me, well, I also got three not a huge numbers day, but I'll definitely take it. 90 minute gates makes things harder, you know, as opposed to when they open two or two and a half hours early. And it was crowded, a big Friday night crowd here. So I gave away two of the three. That brings the lifetime total, they all count, to I think security is calling us. Let's do a little walk and talk. Uh, the three baseballs brings the lifetime total to 12,559. And so, we are out. Don't want to piss off the security folks here. They are very, very friendly. And so I will be back tomorrow. Have a good night, guys. Hey, you too. Take care. All right. Um, and as I think I mentioned at the very start of the day, City Connect uniforms. And I think baseball's tomorrow, so we'll see if I get one. Thanks for watching this one. And you guys better watch the next one, too. Mwah. Bye.